how to start an architecture design i know this is one of the trickiest question for the architecture students but there is a way to answering it the nine square exercise the nine square design project is a famous model making tool conceived by architect john hedgetek in 1954 it was the basic design exercise in the introduction of architecture to new students it is one of the most respected way to start an architecture project historically le corbusier andre palladio louis khan shigeru ban rem kulas even peter eisenman all have followed these principles in their designs we all know that the space is the most fundamental concept in the architecture what if we divide the space into nine grid and we slowly increase the complexity of these nine squares we have seen these kind of nine grid before but i am sure you haven't seen the other side of the theory watch this video till the end to understand the logic behind the nine grid concept let's establish some rules to understand this principle the nine grid geometry can create a central arrangement reflecting the idea of stability introversion and eight spaces grouped around a large dominant central space these nine grid also have a radial organization they can be extended outward to create a new space inside the system making them extroverted in nature The system of the grid shows the idea of organizational power reflecting spaces with continuity and regularity providing 16 stable reference points these grids possess properties of repetition and expansion The system of hierarchy provided by these nine grids always create a hierarchy in the space when we arrange the spaces on all nine equal grids there is no hierarchy in the system but when we increase any of the space in these nine grid system it is start to create hierarchy in the system and that space become more dominant into the whole space even we can change the shape of the space inside these nine grids or we can shift the location of these squares There is another principle which is known as the system of symmetry. These nine grid spaces always have symmetry and show the system of equilibrium. These axes are the imaginary lines established by two points in space. An axis in one of the primary way to create order in space and it gives the sense of direction. We can change this imaginary axis to an angle also which gives the new design principles while designing a space. So we created our rules to understand the nine grid concept. Now let's try to understand how historically the great master of architecture has used these principles into their design. The first project we will discuss is the Temple of Solomon reconstructed by John Bautista in the 17th century which follows the same principle of nine grid system and solomonic order of design. This building is a sacred place. Here we can clearly see the system of nine grid with symmetry and the system of grid inside this nine grid system the next project was done by andre palladio in 1565 the famous villa rotunda which developed the new era of architecture known as palladian architecture here palladio used the system of nine grid with the extroverted nature extending the nine grid outward following the principle of symmetry and also changing the shape of one grid by adding a circular dome inside it in 1964 john davenport designed a new master plan for the usa which also followed the system of nine grid with proper axes following the order In Jaipur, India, Maharaja Jaisingh designed the extension of his kingdom in the wall city with the concept of nine grid, justified by the concept of Vastu Purusha Mandala, which also follows the system of nine grid and hypothetical imagination of the universe. In this city, Jaisingh shifted the location of one square because of the topography of the city. The next project discussed is the Oratory of Bishop, designed by Eudes of Mertz. Here the Greek cross also followed the system of nine grid with the extension of space in a semicircular size. The next project of the nine grid system was Villa Sudhan. It was designed by Le Corbusier in 1951 in Ahmedabad. Here also Corbusier used the system of cubism with the grid geometry. Here Corbusier changed the axis of these nine grids and extended the ramp outward. This is the typical courtyard house typology in Jaipur. This building is the museum of legacy. Here the center grid is the courtyard which suits the hot and dry climate of Jaipur. The center space provides cross ventilation as well as natural light inside the house. The another extension of nine grid system is designed by Louis Kahn it was the library in 1971 which also followed the system of nine grid here kahn used the hierarchical center of the nine grid and chamfered the corners of the building john hedgeck who was the great master of 19th century and also the expert of the nine grid system he also designed many houses using the same concept of nine grid where he extended the spaces outward in 1954 Corbusier in 1931 also used the concept of nine grid system in Villa Savoy. He took the inspiration from Andre Palladio. He emphasized the center area of frame and followed the system of grid pillars into the design. And this way he created one of his principle of free flow planning. 
Peter Eisenman also uses the system of 90 in his house in 1971. Here he changed the axis of the house and this orientation followed the concept of 9 grid and added one more layer of complexity to the design. We can clearly see the difference of axis in the same system of 9 grid. In 1989, Ram Kulas designed Tres Grande Biblioteca, which was a library and which follows the system of 9 grid. Here, Ram Kulas changed the shape of the space by adding these curvilinear walls, but the main idea follows the concept of 9 grid. This villa was designed by Kirsten Gears in 2010, and this concept of 9 grid was not historically developed. Even the new architects are also using the same concept of 9 grid. In this, Kirsten blended the spaces with the 9 grid concept and simplified the house design. This is the Jawar Kala Kendra by Charles Korea and this is one of the most famous project in Indian architecture and this was designed by the great master of Indian modern architecture also using the same concept of 9 grid in designing the cultural center of Jaipur. Here he shifted one box because the plan is inspired by the Jaipur city which also has the shift in the 9 grid. This is the another project of Jaipur which is the Vidyada Nagar designed by B.V. Doshi. Balakrishna Doshi won the Pritzker Prize in 2018. Here also he used the concept of 9 grid and added the Indian architecture style for planning the area. This is the Popinoy cabin by Rudolf Michael in 1922. In this, the house is growing outward following the principle of 9 grid. And he simplified the architecture by using the same concept of 9 grid into this house. This is the Dashavatara temple in India, which also follows the principle of 9 grid. Although the idea of temple is designed by the Vishnu Dharmotara Purana, but this Purana concept is also relatable to the 9 grid concept. Even in other Indian temple like Kashi Vishnu temple, also designed in the same principle of 9 grid. Here, Man Singh in 1585 designed this temple. This also follows the system of 9 grid with the hierarchy of spaces. The center space is emphasized by increasing its size. It also follows the concept of symmetry in the 9 grid. This is the solo house designed by Pezzo when in 2014 and this is a very recent architect who got inspiration from the 9 grid concept. Here you can understand that this 9 grid concept is not only used by previous generation of architect but also the recent architects are following the principle of design. This is the plan of La Plata city in Argentina designed by Pedro Benoit in 1836. This also follows the concept of 9 grid with a change in axis. The Mughal architecture also follows the principle of mathematics. In this Humayu term designed by Mirza in 1570, it follows the principle of 9 grid with a central focus of the space. Savannah city plan designed by James Edward in 1733 also follows the principle of 9 grid with the major axis connecting one block of the city with the other part of the city. One of the most important projects in the history of architecture was Venice Hospital, designed by Le Corbusier in 1965. Although this project was not completed because of the unfortunate demise of Le Corbusier, and this was his conceptually last project, which he designed in 1965, which also follows the principle of pinwheel system as well as the 9 grid system, and he generated the spaces along this pinwheel system. The Trenton Bathhouse by Louis Kahn also follows the concept of 9 grid, where he placed the four spaces by following the same concept of 9 grid. Shiguru Ban, who won the Pritzker Prize in 2005, 14 also followed the concept of 9 grid in his furniture house in 1995. You can understand here that the Mughal architecture, the Indian architecture, the temples, the Christian architecture, the Greek cross all have somehow followed the same concept of 9 grid. Even the great master of architecture also have followed the same principle of 9 grid into their design. Next time when you ask yourself how to start an architecture design, you should have at least 9 grid principles to start your design. You can also comment down below if you know more projects related to 9 grid system and help the design community to make architecture simple and elegant. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It will inspire us to create more such videos. See you in the next video. Salute.